everybody, Natasha with Dash Scrabble Corner, and today I'm coming to you with uh, uh, my um, one of my finished projects, and uh, uh, it is Christmas, um, Christmas project, and I used the uh, 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 it was the uh, night before Christmas graphic 45 paper, absolutely beautiful collection, um, and. Uh, I made um, a little easel card uh, and I combined um, my now favorite elements. Ta da! Yes, you are not mistaken, it is another bow card. So, at this point, I decided to uh, twist it a little bit and I um, upscale it a little bit, if you will. So, um, I had this cute box left from uh, our previous um, Christmas and it's uh, this hectagon uh, shape. So, it had the name and everything on it. So I adhere some of the papers in here. I didn't cover this. Sorry, you can hear my pups. Hold on just a second. Sorry. Uh, so basically, um, I loved that print and I decided not to cover, but on one side of it, it had the um, name and the label of the candies. So. What I did, I cut out the base and I cut out a couple stamps and adhere them. The box opens up and you can put goodies in there. And this card is going to my mom. So, I was thinking that's just a good idea. Okay, so, let me see. Um, so, you have seen my shabby... Um, my shabby uh, bow card. So this one is Christmas and uh, I made it um, on top of the box, right? And I, I turned it into easel card. Okay, let me lift it up. Uh, it's quite heavy. And let me zoom out. Um, so basically what you see here is uh, your layered bow card and uh, I'm, gonna, I'm trying to find a better angle to show you because um, so um, let me turn it around and it's loaded of course you know I like you know loads things so in here on top of the card I used uh, Tim Holtz um, on the edge die to cut out some snowflakes um, and I folded it in half and I before I adhered the lowest banner the tails I used the pop-up dots right there and there to create a pocket for the tag which is from uh, this collection as well and I use this so it um, I bought that sheet of the um, tags and envelopes so which fits very nicely right in there and it uh, pokes out on another side so as far as we take care of the back side let's come back to the front and here you see that tag poking out in here um, on the bow uh, on the bow sides I added some snowflakes which were die cuts from the memory box the snowflake and I die cut it one and I chopped it on diagonal and I used three petals and three petals and that's what you see right in there. They got it from the scraps of the paper. Um, the first layer of bow, I used um, 
decorate uh, on the edges with uh, my um, one of my new um, one of my new um, tiny laces, crochet laces right here and it has a shape of snowflake very Christmassy so and if you will take a look in here I have the cluster of uh, different swirls and uh, uh, elegant and, and uh, see-through uh, and regular paper ones so um, let me talk you through that one I used um, for the big swirl like this I used the memory box um, this uh, swirl not sure where is the name is there the name for it yes there you go and for the snowflake for this snowflake this all right so we would know what's going on so basically this swirl when I'm die cutting I'm using the wax paper so the paper would come out of the die and instead of throwing all all the um, uh, the paper that um, the um, wax paper I used it in here and it gave that airy almost like a vellum like look okay and because the swirl is quite large I chopped it right in here and I used this part and I used the other part separately so that's what you see throughout both sides using different papers and vellum let's let's name it vellum okay so um, as well as for the swirls I used this die and it has snowflakes and the name of it is this and I used this swirl and the name of it is this and let me see and yes and I used this on the edge die which I cut in, in pieces and tucked it in and the name of it is this okay so basically that's the dies I, would, I was using and I tuck them underneath in between the, the uh, bow tails and the first layer of bow which the layer of bow I use the pop-up dots and I'm finding out that I think it's the best way to use because the bow when you fold in the paper and the bow is so, so thick and it needs some dimensional so maybe you will use even double pop-up dot or use your hot glue to create your own 3D dots or you can use um, the Helmer uh, scrap 3d dimensional uh, dots but on this guys you're gonna need to wait you need to create your pop-up dot and let it uh, sit uh, and freeze and cool down so then after uh, layered uh, some um, uh, swirls in between the um, in between the um, bow and the tails I added the layer in between the second layer of the bow and the first layer of the bow which um, on the second um, on the second bow I used two different laces I used this teeny tiny three dot uh, cotton lace and on the bottom that's one of my favorite this uh, dangle uh, 
dangle, uh, how would you say, trim, okay? Uh, and uh, I die-cutted the window using one of Spellbinder's die, and that's this window. And I used one of the images from the paper collection and I just basically adhere it behind the window like uh, Santa is inside the house and he's putting the huge bag of toys and there is a little frame right there which is supposed to be a postmark but it looks like a picture on the wall uh, so the whole thing was um, quite appropriate for um, this um, element and I added the snowflake on top that um, which brings the uh, 3D effect even further that the snowflakes are above the window they're outside and I tucked um, a little tag from the tag collection and this little uh, mouse tag in here and I use one of my um, bling snowflakes from uh, Natasha's scrapbook corner. Um, so basically that's it. And if you will lift it up, it op opens up like that. And uh, uh, I adhered one of the oopsie, one of the laces. Let me put it down. Excuse me. Um, sorry, it's so hard to record. Sorry. Um, so basically, there is the um, tag from the collection again, and uh, I use this tag. The envelope looks like this, and there is the Christmas tag, and that's basically how it looks. It comes. I love those. Um, graphic 45 elements they make a new project so much easier so in here you see the um, layer of the uh, paper in here which was distressed and on that I used one of Spellbinder's die which is this and then I just topped it with that three dot um, cotton lace the new arrivals um, from uh, Natasha's Scrabble Corner. So basically that's it and the box opens up. I'm not sure if I showed it to you. And you can put the uh, candies in there. So the box opens up. I think I did show it to you. Whoops, I'm not off the frame. So yeah, the box opens up and um, so basically that's it. That's my um, easel card for my mom. I hope she likes it. Um, till it's gonna reach her um, in Russia. Mail is going really slow in Russia. It will be already Christmas time. So um, I will pop the, the uh, links below to the um, my store and um, uh, to another video that uh, of shabby uh, bow uh, and I guess that's it and picture stay tuned for the pictures if you would like um, I will probably <coughs> excuse me post the blog um, with the pictures with excuse me with more pictures so thanks so much for watching talk to you later bye
Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare him room. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and heaven and nature sing. Joy to the world, the Savior reigns. Let men their songs employ. While fields and floods, rocks, hills and plains repeat the sounding joy. Repeat the sounding joy. Repeat, repeat the sounding joy.